Hey, it's John Reed, JDOD.com. This is our very first Madrid Sapphire shoot, and our guinea pig is Julia Bond of Hillary's, uh, your chief uh, communications officer, technology officer. Basically, you're a CTO. Something like that. Yeah. And we're here to talk about mobility. Indeed. And uh, you guys actually have a pretty early start in mobility going back to 2004. So tell us about uh, your company and why mobility has been an important part of what you do. Sure. Hillary's Blinds sells through an in home experience and therefore right back in 2004 we realized that mobile was a way to improve our efficiency and uh, so we had a mobile application built on Windows Mobile at that stage uh, and even today 85% of my t group turnover comes through that mobile device selling out in the home. And then you made a decision to bring a, an app in-house which is how you got involved with the Unwired platform. Tell us about that decision and why you did that. Sure, so it's partly, to, it was a combination of factors. The demise of Windows Mobile as a platform was part mm. of that, but also we need to do much more than the previous application allowed us to do. Uh, we wanted to uh, make a more consumer-centric app that would allow consumers to visualize what our product would look like in their home, as an example. We need to do something from scratch, and uh, whilst wanting to inherit the DNA of the previous application, we wanted to build something and to bring it in-house because we have some in-house development capability, but the speed of agility that our business requires in terms of the changes it makes means we want it to be in better control of that. Mm. And so how long did it take uh, to build the app and then what was the end result uh, when you were done? Okay, so it took us six months from sign-off through to first advisors being live and that's given us uh, an Android application used out in the field that allows uh, territory management, pricing, uh, gives um, diary management, orders, payments, and fitting appointments at the end of it. The proof's always in the pudding, so what kind of feedback have you gotten from the field? Do they, do they like the app? Is it helping they, them? They do like the app. Um, again, these are advisors who've worked with a previous application for some time, and now right. they've got a brand new application, right. used to using stylus, used to using a very Windows mobile look and feel. The Android they've taken do very well. Um, and mm -hmm. we've tried to inherit the DNA of the previous application, but streamline it in a way that takes maximum advantage from the new generation of application devices. So when you were working with the Unwired platform, was it hard, was it easy, what, what were the challenges there? So quite a steep learning curve, a steep learning curve that's made worthwhile because we want to do more than one app. This okay. isn't j just a single application, we're increasingly going to move to mobile world and we wanted a platform that allowed us to do it. But yeah, quite, quite a steep learning curve to get to, even though we got quite a strong mobile heritage, we hadn't necessarily got that in-house. So just for clarity, part part of the challenge there you were looking at, okay, you have developers, you can build these apps, but you're thinking about security and device management. These are some of the things that, that yes. made you convinced that the environment was the way to get about replication, about yeah. reliability, and particularly about offline capability. We offline, needed an application right. that worked offline, because even today, 20% of our home visits haven't got a mobile um, signal. So um, making sure that we had a, a platform allowed us to do all of that reliably, consistently, is why we looked at and adopted SUP. So I guess the, the big test would be, would you do it again? Are you going to you going to build another app on that? We are. So we've already built a small um, app for our uh, sales managers on it, but certainly we're now looking to see how much more widely we can leverage that existing investment and build out into other parts of our business. So you have quite a deep experience with, with mobile rollouts and developments. What, what advice would you give to customers who are much more in the prototyping stage and they, they can see maybe a use case with sales, but they haven't really gone very far? Certainly, user, I know it's a tourism, but user engagement is key, making sure that a good set of those um, potential users involved fairly early on, that, that you adopt an agile methodology that means that you can play back functionality at various stages through the development and means that when the application is ready to hit, people know what's coming and have had an opportunity to influence that. For us, that was quite a key driver. And you were able to build quickly when you talk Agile. You, you rolled that out pretty quick, right? We did roll that out pretty yeah. quickly. I mean, we've, we've taken slight pause because this is our busiest time of the year, um, the Christmas period, but certainly we've taken slight pause and then we're back to that straight away in January. As we wrap the shoot, uh, what are you looking forward to this week? Is Why are you here? What are you trying to get out of it? Um, I'm always interested to see where SAP is going next, particularly around the mobile space, but also how that influences 
um, cloud and to trying to work out where we can best get business value from those arenas. Do you want to put on the pundit hat for a second, give a, a quick thought on Windows 8 and mobile? Do you think Windows can make a comeback? I think in the enterprise space it can make a comeback. Uh, mm -hmm. Certainly the shift towards very consumer focused applications has been difficult and I think a lot of web enterprises would like uh, something that comes back in and gives a, a more enterprise weight, whether that's Windows 8 or Windows 9, who knows? Remains to be seen. Yeah. Right. Well, there you have it, folks. Mobility at uh, Sapphire Madrid. Thank you for joining us, Julian. Thank you very much.